Well, AAA is out with a new survey, and let's remind everyone that AAA stands for American Automobile Association. They surveyed 40,000 EV owners. And before we get to the results of the survey, Jesse, I just mm-hmm. wanted to ask you, if, if you were going to do a survey of 40,000 EV owners, mm-hmm. do you think you would include Tesla owners? Mm-hmm. Well, they didn't. So everything you're going to hear in the survey is EV drivers, but not Tesla drivers. So check this out. What? Okay. <laughs> 71%. Uh, were new owners. And by the way, of those EV owners, 96% said they'd buy another EV. Wow. That's awesome. 96%? Yeah. And this is their first time driving an EV. Um, 87% said EVs are their first choice of transportation in their household. Hmm. So if they've got two cars, one is ICE and one is EV, 87% said they want to drive the EV first. So then for non-EV drivers, right, AAA asked people who don't drive an EV, they they found out that 57% of these non-EV drivers in America worry about running out of charge. And yet, 95% of those surveyed said they never ran out of charge. Mm. Now, I just want to point out, I did a little research, 500,000 drivers in 2015 ran out of gas. So... You can run out of energy no matter what kind of car you drive. Of course. But getting back to the survey, 75% of EV drivers charge their car at home only. Only. I thought that was really interesting. There's no other place that they charge. Now, keep in mind, these are non-Tesla owners. That is interesting. So then once data was shared with the non-EV drivers who were just saying how much they feared Mm -hmm. running out of charge, once they told them this fact that 95% of people who drive EVs never ran out of charge, then 77% of the non-EV drivers said they were no longer worried. So all they needed to do basically was educate them. And they most of them were like, oh, okay, so it's not a problem. Then it's not a problem. Wow. So I think that this is a really great study because they didn't uh, interview any Tesla drivers because 40,000 EV owners who aren't Tesla owners – that is a huge proportion of non-Tesla EV drivers. I mean, that yeah. is that gives you a really good sense. And I would argue um, that non-Tesla EVs, and I am an owner of, of one of them, a, a Nissan Leaf 2013, 90 miles of range. Barely, <laughs> on a good on a day. <laughs> good day with a back wind going downhill, are, are not the premier, are not the best EVs there are. Right, no. Right, because they don't have supercharging. Uh, a, a lot of them have limited charging. So this is really, really good news. I just wish that AAA had also interviewed Tesla owners so we could compare data. It would be very interesting, but it is cool to have a, a non-mixed uh, data set here, sure. at least from a nerd point of view. It's just that it was fine. I had to dig deep to find that out. So I sh- it can be misleading to people who might also assume that that was including Tesla drivers. Because, right. for instance, it might be a lot lower percentage of people who are worried about running out of charge or who have ever run out of charge. Right. Like, it, we just don't know because they haven't included it. And there might be, I know this sounds a little weird, more people who only charge at home with the Tesla because it has such a bigger range. Right. It means that for most of, the, most of the time, you wouldn't need to do it. Now, of course, the supercharger network is just so nice. Why wouldn't you use it? Right. So, I don't know. It's a very interesting study. And it shows, again... EVs work even when we're not talking about Teslas. Yeah. So it's not like we're crazy here. Nope. No. (laughs) We still might be crazy. (laughs) Not about that. Thanks so much for watching this Now You Know clip. Head over to Now You Know channel for full episodes of Tesla Time News and In Depth. And if you want to treat yourself and your family to something amazing, check this out. Jesse and I have been enjoying Masterclass, where we've been learning all sorts of fun topics from the masters themselves. Yeah, business leadership skills from Bob Iger. Yeah, that Bob Iger. Jazz from Herbie Hancock. Basketball from Steph Curry. Yeah, that Steph Curry. And so many more. Click the link down below to support our channel and experience what it's like to learn from the masters at Masterclass.